All right, guys, so as you know, I've been having some watering issues this year. The uh, brutal heat and lack of rain has made all the problems show up that previous years uh, didn't really show up, so I never really fixed them. Uh, one of them, you guys, a lot of people noticed that the uh, sprinklers weren't really in good spots. So I moved it from, it was right about here to there, and I also raised it up a bit. Um, now along this curve, I feel like no matter what there it's not in a good position because it's a curve but i'm doing the best i can and i don't feel like moving these ones because the grass isn't too bad over here uh, the issue with these ones is that they're too low in the ground and so when they pop up and spray they're actually uh, not spraying over the grass i'll show you what i mean it's not too bad here but you can see the grass is pushed over and there's the sprinkler head um, so what I want to do is raise that up uh, just a little bit so that way it can spray over the grass. I have been mowing at four inches, um, but because of the Lyme disease I've been doing it maybe once a week, sometimes longer. So the grass was going to be about six inches, which means these four inch pop-ups aren't going to be able to spray over that. And the end result, you can see there's a lot of areas that are uh, hurt by the drought, and so um, that area has never had issues like this before, and it's because the water's not getting there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, bring the sprinklers up. All right, so first I'm gonna try to move as much of this away as possible just so it doesn't fall in the hole, and so it lets me get the sprinkler head up. I'm starting to twist it. Hopefully, the whole body will come up. I'm also wiggling it so it can come up easier. I think the whole body is not coming up. I think I'm unscrewing it. So that happens. Let's see if we can zoom in. If you'll notice, this part is not spinning, but this part is, which tells me I'm actually unscrewing just the top of the body, not the entire body which is not what I wanted. So I'm actually gonna screw this back in. We're gonna have to dig a bit, a little bit. So, I prefer not doing it this way, but sometimes you have to. If you're lucky, the whole thing will twist off and go on to dig as much. You can see this is rotating now with it. Just try to pat this down so it doesn't all in. All right. Now, the 
we do have all sorts of different doodads out there. I'll see this one. That's a female male end, which makes it easy to pop in it. Oh, oh, let's see. I can't even tell. This is not the right size. Now I knew that buying it, these are three quarters an inch, but some use half inch, and this is all the store had. So what you do is stick it in here, then screw it back in, you're good to go. Now, since I can't do that, I'm gonna be using a coupler, it's just a PVC coupler. And then there's two ways you can do this. Oh. So they have a male to male riser, which you can just screw in here. Then you figure out where you want to cut it. Screw it in like that. You're good to go. Or because I already knew how high I wanted to do, I just got these. Once again, they're just PVC. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna screw this in. Nice and tight. Screw this in. Try not to get any dirt in any of these. Oh boy. All right, that's nice and tight. Now I'm going to screw it back in right here. All right, now before you fill this back in, I really wish I could see you on this camera. All right, so before you fill this back in, you wanna check your left stop. So just twist the top part. You can see it's going. All right, the left stop is pointed to the left where I want it. Now, if you wanted to adjust the left stop on some of these Rainbird sprinklers, come on. Making sure everything's tight. Let's check that again. Uh oh, see that moved it, I think, nope. So it's still there, but what you would do is you'd remove this uh, top cap here, pull out the body, rotate it so the left stop is where you want it, and then tighten just this top part because it'll remove it from the rest of the body. And it's that easy. All right, now we're just gonna try to put this grass back over it where it was. Dead, so or dormant. I don't know if it's dead or dormant right now. But we'll put it back as nice as we can. You can see sprinkler head is up higher. Now I added about two inches. So what I have to remember is what I have to remember is uh, if I start real mowing in the fall when it's cooler and I can do it much shorter, I may have to take that riser out. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing it this way. A longer way you could do it is you could dig it up and just physically move it. It doesn't cost you any money, but um, then it's, it's basically permanent unless you want to dig the whole thing up again. And it's a lot more work. Uh, whereas this, it's just screwing something in and out. Although, I will say, the amount of work it took to cut all that out, pull that out, I could have just raised it up, um, depending on how much the uh, the tube coming to here, the funny pipe has. You can sometimes just move it up or down, but a lot of the times you can get the whole body unscrewed without any problems, and you're good to go. And so, just a little tip: um, if you ever are at the store and you see more sprinkler heads that are the same type as yours, um, always just have a couple. And then if there's ever any damage or whatnot, that's how easy it is to take them off. You just pop a new one on, adjust the spray pattern, and then if you're really into fixing stuff, then you can pull out the uh, broken one and see if there's a part you can replace. Um, but at least that way you're not down sprinklers. So, 
All right, one down. I know that one needs to be done, and I think the one over here needs to be done. All right, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to rise them up. Now, obviously, there's all sorts of different sizes of these guys. Um, this one's a two-inch one. Um, might have been too much, I don't know, but if you can get the piece, I'll link to it in the description. You can order them online, um, but sometimes I like to just do it right away and go with what's available locally. Um, but I would, I would have preferred to have it the quote-unquote correct way because if you get one like this with the break-off pieces, they're usually longer, you can then make it go up as high as you want without um, going too far. So there's the tip for today. Uh, this should help a lot in the watering, especially this section over here um, along the road. See, I always have issues along the road because it's a curve. So the sprinklers are going in a straight line. Um, so I try to make it sprinkle the, the road without being too much. And uh, what can you do? So the, the fun of uh, lawn care, it's always different every year. Uh, years past, this wasn't as much of an issue. And then uh, it was super hot this year, so it was. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.